Hi, my name is Darren Tillman and I'm the General Manager of PowerFlow Systems. Today we're going to take a look inside a box of our, one of our most popular exhaust systems ready to go out to a customer. This is for a Cessna 172 and we're going to look at what's in the box, the different components and how it's packed so that when you receive yours you'll know what's in there. All right, so one of the things we do on our boxes is because we have a 60-day money-back guarantee, we want to make it so that the exhaust and all of its components get to you and they're protected. We also want to make it so that if you want to return the exhaust, you literally can put it right back in the same box. So we use a foaming system, a foam-in-place system, as you can see here. And you notice underneath one of the smaller flaps, we have an envelope. That's the uh, insulation instructions for a it's our part number, it's PFS 13204. We know that's a Cessna 172. Inside of that, some documentation. This green form is our uh, double warranty offer. You uh, install this on your airplane and you get a dynamic balance done in the first uh, 25 hours. Send the results to us, we'll double your warranty from one year to two years. That's because we know that the only things that can really be harmful to the exhaust are not taking care of it or excessive vibration and this helps take care of that. So our set of FAA approved installation instructions, very comprehensive step by step. You can download these on our website. The very last page is our STC. And then we provide you with necessary paperwork. These are placards that you have to, we give you two, you only need to put one on, just warning you that there's a possibility that at highest power settings your engine could burn more fuel than your POH says. That's our refer a friend and our warranty sheet. Put all those things back. The only other thing that you don't see here that you will get is you'll get a copy of your invoice and STC permission letter. Set these off to the side. All right. Underneath our first layer, put that off. Got a couple of major components here. This is the main guts of the exhaust system. It's what we call the shrouded collector. It's where all the pipes and the heating goes. This end right here, this is where all the pipes come together and exit out to the tailpipe. This is the number one and three side. So the headers will go in there and here. And the way it actually sits in the airplane is it actually sits like this. If the propeller is in the front, that's how it's uh, going through the forward baffle on the Cessna 172. The shroud is all made of stainless steel. And one of the things that you can see here, this is the inlet. And one of the things we do is when we're welding these, we use what's called a stitch weld. Instead of welding continuously all the way around, we weld uh, segments and then we stop and then we jump over and we continue welding. And that's so it's got a built-in ability to stop a crack. So if a crack were to start running, it doesn't continue or is less likely to continue. Most very important thing right here is our FA approved tag and our serial number. This happens to be serial number 1131. This side here, this is the carburetor heat. Cessna kits uh, typically come in two sizes for carburetor heat, depending upon the engine or the STC that converted the engine. So we have a uh, two inch or a two and a half inch, and this is stepped so that technically, if you have a two and a half inch uh, size scat hose, you cut off the two inch and install it. If you have the two inch, you simply attach to the two inch section. So it's kind of one size fits, fits many. And on the back here, that's the, that's the heat output. This is sized for three inch scat hose, which is just like the original uh, exhaust was. Uh, the only difference being as it's installed in the airplane, if this is the propeller in the front, the heater is coming out on the left on the original exhaust, it comes out on the right. So we provide a really long length of scat hose, which you're gonna see in this kit, to get over to where your heater is. Put this off to the side. This is the tailpipe. This is our very popular option, it's called the short stack. It's called the short stack because unlike our long tradi uh, traditional classic exhaust, this is literally short. This has been polished. This is a manual polishing process. So this started out life as that same gray stainless steel and we polished it. 
and this attaches It will, it will go over this part and be slid all the way down. And one of the things that we do say, there's a blue line there. That's where we want you to install this all the way down. This is a taper, and if it's not installed all the way down, the tailpipe could wobble. Right now it's not wobbling because I installed it all the way. This is held to that collector system you will be drilling it with a quarter inch hole and there's a pin clamp I'll show you later and that's what physically attaches it. Once this is installed you don't need to remove the cowling in order to get the tailpipe off. It comes off just like the original exhaust. The cowling that is. Put that away. Other goodies in the bag. This is a bag that's going to contain everything else you're going to need. When you get a power flow exhaust, it's got everything that you could possibly need to do the installation, including this is all new exhaust hardware. I won't take it all out, but no blow gaskets. We're giving you four new ones. We've got clamp hardware. You get new exhaust nuts. And instead of the metal kind that get corroded, we provide stainless steel ones. New lock washers and new stainless washers also uh, for the clamp hardware and regular washers for the exhaust. Put that back. We tailor this hardware pack to the order. So some different uh, orders. If you're getting, a, say, a classic exhaust, you'll have a little different hardware in there, including the exhaust gaskets. This is the pin clamp that holds that tailpipe on, and you can see right there is the pin. This pin is what you would be drilling through the tailpipe and into the collector assembly once you've fixed its location. It then gets clamped and it holds it in place. This is uh, high temperature anti-seize. Your exhaust system, when it first ships, you can probably see in there there's a kind of a goldish copper color. That's high temperature anti-seize we've already put in at the factory, but we give you more for both doing your normal, your initial installation and also so during your next annual you've got something to lubricate uh, the, the slip joints. I'll explain why in a moment. We're going to go down another layer and what we're going to find under here should be some scat and some headers. Sure enough. So in here are the four headers. This one's labeled number three. It also has a tracking in there for us. We know exactly what it is. And what we've done is we've put alignment marks, line up here, and this is number three. And you would literally, as it says in the instructions, take the system out on this collector. There's number three. You put header number three in hole number three and you line it up to the alignment marks which are in this case right there and so when it's installed they would go together like this and you'd shove it all the way in and you would repeat that for all four exhausts. All the headers are sitting in here kind of cocooned. Here's the number one header. This one's the number two header. It's the only one on this exhaust that's actually made with two pieces. Here's the number four header. And I mentioned you had a really long scat tube. There it is. And that's because on a Cessna 172, the heater is on the co-pilot side and you've got to go from there all the way around to where the heater output is on our side, which is on the pilot side. And this scat tube is long enough to reach that with some, some to spare. So our philosophy is you will, need every, you will get everything that you need. Long scat tubing, we're going to give it to you. Some of our kits have a lot more scat tubing required. Some of them don't. And that's the whole exhaust system. There's nothing more to it. So what we suggest that you do is read the installation instructions, download them online, um, and get an advanced copy. 
And of course, once you get it, follow the instructions step by step and it can go uh, together very easily.